Rondo in action. He's having a fantastic 2023. He has run the entry standard for the World Championships in this event. It'll be Thomas Fafar from the University of Laval. Wearing hip one. Two will be Aaron All from the Caltaf Athletic Association. He was fifth at Nationals last year. Kieran Lum, the bronze medalist last year. Cameron Prasiviat just off the podium last year with a fourth place finish. He made it through to the semifinals at the World Championships in Eugene, Oregon last year. This is Emil Topan. Next to him, Kevin Robertson. Robert Heppenstall, the defending champion. He's a seven-time All-American in his collegiate career at Wake Forest University. Matthew Baudet next to him. This is Alec Purnell. Jean-Simon Deganet, the steeplechase winner from Thursday. He'll have hip 10. Charlie Denat. He was sixth in this race at Nationals last year. Mitch Eubeen from the Royal City Athletics Club. Christian Gravel from the Univer or excuse me, for the Vancouver Thunderbirds. And there he is, Charles Philibert Thibodeau, four-time Canadian champion over this distance. Last year, he picked up the national title in the 5,000 meters. Did both of those events at the World Championships last year set his new personal best in France last month. This is going to be one heck of a 1500 meter final. I mentioned it yesterday in the heats or the semis rather, but the depth of this event in Canada for the men has just been explosive over the last few years. And Philibert Thibodeau comfortably on the outside, just biding his time. He's moving up now. He's so, so experienced. He's been on the international scene for the better part of 15 years. And like any athlete has had his ups and downs, but his tenacity is to be applauded. He's also a great leader of our sport. I sat on the board of Athletics Canada with him as athlete directors for a few years and fantastic athlete and advocate. But right now it is another tremendous runner, Heppenstall out to that lead. And as you mentioned, Heppenstall coming off a great season last year, continuing that this year, and they open up in 59 and change. And that is pretty much what you would expect to see in a final of this caliber. Heppenstall looking to defend his 1500 meter championship here. It's Lum running in second right now, and Philibert Thibodeau running in third. Fourth right now belongs to Kevin Robertson. And don't count out Kieran Lum. I mean, Charles Philibert Thibodeau, really the class of the field, having run that 332 already this season. That is just absolute stunning running and having bookended it with two 333s, but Lum, the second fastest indoor miler in Canadian history. A little bit of movement there, pushing. This is the danger when things start to slow through the middle of a race. Philibert Thibodeau establishing himself up at the front now, but Lum going with him. Kieran Lum had a great career at the University of Washington and just signed recently with the Swiss brand On Running. That's a teammate now of several other Canadian athletes who have taken on that sponsorship. So two minutes through 800 meters. 
And I'm not surprised to see the separation, Adam. Just over 500 meters to go, and it is Philibert Thibodeau leading Lum and the chase pack following suit. Philibert Thibodeau, four-time Canadian champion over 1,500 meters. Lum was the bronze medalist last year. And they've opened up a significant gap on the chase pack. And they're going to hear the bell here. It's Robertson leading that chase pack. Philibert Thibodeau still leading Lum out in front. It's been such a good season for Philibert Thibodeau. It's going to continue into August. But will he head into next month? with another Canadian championship on his resume. Final 200 meters left to go. It's Philibert Thibodeau and Lum. Kieran Lum's been hanging around. Will Philibert Thibodeau be able to pull away or just hang on here as they make the final turn? Lum trying to make a move on the outside. Philibert Thibodeau has a look over. Can he go with him? Lum pulling away. Kieran Lum, the bronze medalist last year. He'll make it gold in 2023. What a close from Kieran Lum. Absolutely incredible. Never to be counted out. This man has strength and wheels. What a run by Kieran Lum. He let Philibert Thibodeau do a lot of that work once the break was made, just under two laps to go. And an absolutely huge push over the final 100 meters. And you know, honestly, Adam, as soon as I saw Charles look to his right, he did it once and then he did it once again. So Philibert Thibodeau with the advantage coming off this turn and then Lum looking so strong and composed, his face totally relaxed. There's the second look by Philibert Thibodeau. And then a glance over his shoulder to see if there was danger. Lum striding smoothly across that line. Look at the difference in their faces. Kieran Lum so relaxed. Charles did so much of that work. But Lum, a very smart race by him, comes away with the win. And Kieran Lum, 55 flat for his last 400 meters. He and Charles both go under the old championship record. And that was set by Taylor Milne back in 2008 at 338.0. So what a run by these two men. And it's Jean-Simon Deganet coming across for the bronze medal. So a good championship for him. He will add that bronze to his gold from the 3,000 meter steeplechase on Thursday. But it is Kieran Lum taking the gold here in the men's 1500 meter final in a new championship record time of 337.24. Charles Philibert Thibodeau takes the silver 338.01 for him. Let's go down now and hear from Kieran Lum. Oh, it was good. Yeah, I'm really happy with that, I think.